This car's got a lot of racket in the rear end, and I'm going to show you how to replace it and make the problem go away. We're replacing the rear end because I had a whole bunch of wine in the rear end, and it's because it was leaking all the fluid out and it wasn't getting properly lubricated. So when you're going down the road, you hear a whine mainly in the middle of the car, and it doesn't go away when you go side to side like a wheel bearing does. So keep watching. Oh, you want to take these three allen bolts there's one up here too take that one out and take these out just like i have over here and then we should be able to take the bolts out of our axle and i'm hoping and the drive line here and i'm hoping that we should be able to push this back and push our axles back and then drop our differential out so keep watching and see if i'm able to do it so when it comes to taking off your allen bolts for your drive line or your CV axles, you want to do something, something like this where you take a screwdriver and pry it on the other side of your bolt and then you're able to break your allen bolt loose which is like a 6 millimeter allen. So keep watching. So you want to use an 8 millimeter allen for these bolts here on your axle and then you want to use a pry bar and put it on your end of your axle where your wheel hub is and break the bolts loose. So when you get to this part, you want to put your 8mm allen in the hole and make sure it's good and straight. If it's not straight, it's going to strip it out. Then you want to take a pry bar and put it across your studs here, and that's going to keep it in place when you try to break your 8mm allen loose. And it should work for you this way. What you want to do before you drop it down is you want to drain the fluid. It may not seem like a lot, but when you're letting it down by yourself, all the ounces make the difference. There's not very much in there. You want to take these 8 millimeter allens in on the front of your differential. And it's out. After we get something out like this, or you do a job where there's a whole bunch of oil, like a valve cover or a training pan leak, you always want to use some carbon spray and clean all this stuff off because we're putting in a, a used differential and if it's suspect down the road. You want to make sure that you know that it's leaking and it's not a leak from the previous one. So it's out. Um, so you want to make sure that you have somebody helping you or you just do what I did just by yourself. Um, but that's that's how you take it out and just basically I just put it back in. You just the exact same way you took it out. Um, if you like my video, just like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, comment below. And thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe. If you like my video, watch my next video where I'm going to uh, tear us apart and kind of investigate the sound. All right, thanks. You got a loud wheel bearing for your Audi? Well, I'm gonna show you what to do. So you wanna take this, this big old Allen out, which is a 17 millimeter Allen. And then you want to take out all these bolts of your racks. They're going to do that. You want to drop this bolt and this nut 18 bolt with an 18 millimeter nut here. Then we're going to have to take our brake caliper off. And I think I'm going to have to take my shock off here too.